It totally is. Well, someone was unfortunate. Love letter. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Love letter, huh? Was this dried fish? A fish. Okay. Gilbert Bliff. Where have I heard that name before? Alright, so that's how... That's how we got in. How we get in. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I would like you to sod off, Sugarfuss, before I repeat. <sighs> Alright, cool. Locked. Horse. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But, miss, he just claimed to be the cook. He's a cheat, he is. <laughs> See, Frederick, did I not warn you not to jest with the guards? They haven't any sense of humor whatever. Now take Master de Bergerac to the training room. Quickly. As you say, miss. Ah, okay. Won't you realize what you've got yourself into? Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. Ow. you said why are you here before I ask gotta admit you do pretty well with a sword one pointer don't expose your left flank when you dodge oh I know terrible habit can't seem to get rid of it I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so but 
don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. All right. Oh. She is a girl, so. giving me a few private lessons can't rightly refuse a request from a lady what are you two lovebirds whispering about you asked about my relationship with dandelion well here's the mix-ups mastermind edna Varatra, <coughs> the greatest mischief maker north or south of the yoruga hang on so it was you in the garden <laughs> of course it was me why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Take it Dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly <coughs> set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen. I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Um. Who did Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. House here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. We might be getting another <laughs> showing. Okay, 
this works. as much as love. Why'd there be bread in there? Gotta be some great stuff up above. Okay. Um All right, time to go. Now we gotta talk to Mara. What is a school or something? Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not You're come away like my grandma. Why not? A rat bit him, and he's caught a fever. Where'd you get bit? Daddy will get mad much. if he sees me Don't talking die. to you. Don't die from rat. Alrighty then. Guess I'll meditate for maybe an hour. Eternal fire will forgive. Oh! Wonder if the rat catcher will get well. Like as not. How do you know? Yep. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe. No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Hmm. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. How's the stream, guys? Can you guys see anything? Individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? 